Today, Kevin and I are gonna try two new to us Ferrera chocolates. Uh, these are worth $3 each at Walgreens. I have the sea salt caramel. And I have um, the milk chocolate orange. Yeah, this is milk chocolate too, and I did not get us a plate. Do you think we need one? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the milk chocolate sea salt caramel is, you get five pieces for 230 calories. And these are made in Illinois. Not that I hope. They're glued on top, so it's like you have to tear oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we've tried uh, like the orange, I think in dark chocolate. Uh, there was another one of these that we tried, I think a mint maybe last year. How many calories there? 230 for five. 230 for five. That's 240 for five. Okay, it says burst, then enjoy. Here you go. Okay. Even Guido hurt that. I'm gonna do it too real quick. Do you think I did it enough? You did. Okay. Guido heard that and Guido actually set up. Guido can hear anything. <laughs> and if you don't normally follow this channel, Guido is our pug. We don't could hear a pickup truck, a dump truck driving through a nitro glycerin factory. Yeah. Now what movie is that from? Who knows that reference? Just pull it apart. It's there. there oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. We was like, what are you doing over here? Mm, it smells good. Mm-hmm. It smells like caramel. Mm. I like the chocolate, it's good. Mm-hmm. I don't taste sea salt. Mm-hmm. I don't get a real, well, the caramel's there. Mm-hmm. The caramel's there. It's not really, really strong. Mm -hmm. But honestly, they should have just called it caramel they instead should've. of sea salt caramel. Yeah, I don't get any salt There's at no all. salt at all. But um, I love how how you get so many of these, and once you've opened it like this, they apart. fall apart. The bad thing is, what I always wondered about these eggs, mm -hmm. you break them, you open the aluminum, right? Yeah. And then you're manhandling them with your hands on every piece of chocolate in that egg, I mean that, that orange. So are people supposed to just eat it after you've manhandled it with your hands, or are you supposed to eat the whole thing yourself? I mean, I guess if it's kids, it really doesn't matter, but I mean, you wouldn't serve that in a party. No. Here, I'm gonna break this up and put it on a tray. <laughs> no one would ever eat that, no. Or I, I wouldn't think they would. I don't know, people do sausage and cheese and stuff. With crackers. That's uh, the same difference. It is, but it's I don't know. That's what I'm saying, it it's is weird. Different. There's one right there. It is different because you know, you know that this has been like handled, like really handled. Yeah, I just think it's funny. I mean, how do you beat it? And a lot of people just don't care. They just don't. They don't care if you, if you, uh, to, to pick up anything, just like, uh, when you lay something on the break room table and everybody goes in there and they just, uh, they don't care. They know, no, they know I'm clean, so. Well, not you specifically. I'm talking about any break room table, you know, yeah, people, true. there's just a trust, I guess. Yeah. I mean, the people where I work, when I take things in the break room, they know 90% of the time it's coming from me and right. I, they know I'm a clean person, so. These Honestly, I think you buy these though for an individual. I think you put these in stockings. I think, uh, I think usually you buy these like I'm gonna buy this for Kevin. You don't buy this thinking you're buying it for a bunch of people. That's true. That's true. I was just thinking, you know, how do you eat these? How are you supposed to eat these? Mm. You get the I orange. like orange and milk chocolate much so more much better. more than in dark chocolate. Mm. Because it adds that sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And orange isn't supposed to be bitter. Well, I don't like bitter oranges at least. I really like that. That's I good. love orange and milk chocolate. I like the the creaminess of the chocolate. This is a really good brand of chocolate. Mm -hmm. A really good brand of chocolate. Clip. It's very creamy, mm -hmm. very smooth. Mm. Yeah, I like that a lot. The reason I broke mine apart like this is because I know, put we put it in a Ziploc baggie and we'll uh we'll keep it in our uh, drawer and we'll pull a couple pieces out at a time so Which that's is evil. i pull like here 
I want a little snack. I'm gonna grab four pieces slices of this chocolate. Kevin's a grazer. I'm a bad grazer. And also, anytime he comes in here to get a drink in the refrigerator, <laughs> that means not every time. Sometimes. Get a snack. There's a possibility that things may be grabbed out of the drawer while I'm getting a drink. Right, right. Well, both of these are really good. They are good. I like, I like the orange I'm better. I'm pleased with them. I like the orange better because it has a stronger flavor. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's almost border on baby aspirin orange, but it's still really good. But it's really good. So if you like orange, and if, even if you don't like orange and dark chocolate, you might very well like orange and milk chocolate. Yeah. So. So I would recommend either one of these. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.